Hmm. Interesting. Oh, hello. Welcome back to Automotive Tales. <laughs> On this episode, we are back on the barn find Dirty 30. So join us as we get the E30 out of its storage hole where it's been for five or six years and get it progressing back towards being on the road because it's been off the road for more than 17 years, the whole time I've owned it and it's ridiculous. So we've got some extra hands coming to help us today. We're gonna move security Volvo. I'll explain that in a second. And we're going to get the E30 out. It's going to go on Neil's trailer and it is going off to classic barnstormers for them to have a look at how much of a headache it's going to be for them. Right, let's go. Well, you know the deal. Before the car goes anywhere, first things first, we need to put an air tag and a moto tag mount in it. So, here goes. <laughs> So that is the Moto Tag mount all set up. So I'm going to find a location for it nice and tucked away in the cab here. And uh, if you're going to do this to your car, make sure you tell the garage you're sending it to. In this case, I'm sending it to Classic Barnstormers in case they come across it. So I'd hope if a garage finds something like this, they would let the owner know just to confirm it actually belongs to the owner and not somebody else who's trying to track the vehicle. So I shall let the garage know that it has got a tracker and where that tracker is fitted. And... While we've got the car on the ground and I'm inside, let's have a little look around what's going on in here and explain what on earth is going on with that. So, welcome to the inside of the E30. As you can see, 122,000 miles on it, so it's not a baby, but it's probably quite low mileage now given its age. And it's your traditional sort of 80s BMW interior. And sadly, like all E30s, I have suffered with a cracked dashboard. I have looked at getting a replacement one of these, but it was going to cost me about twice what I actually paid for the car. So I'm gonna see if I can look into getting this repaired somehow. It might be something that the garage can do while it's in. Um, you'll see the glove box is out because I was messing around with the brake master cylinder last time I had the car apart. So we saw in the earlier video, there's a hole in the uh, bulkhead up there where it's come out from. So all of that needs to go back together. Uh, the hinge was a bit rusty if I remember rightly. So I've got a new hinge for it, which is what's down there. And the seats are this nice sort of like, uh, checkered pattern so it's not got the herringbone of the very basic interior but uh, yeah, it's quite a nice little pattern uh, kind of similar to the seats that were in my old Sirocco but just without the colours in the uh, in the pattern there they're not in the best condition you could probably just make out this little bit of a tear there which I might be to find somebody who can restore those if you know somebody that's really good at restoring seats this is something that kind of I don't really know what to do with and how you repair things like that to make it look less noticeable then uh, bleep bloop in the comments below um, because I'd love to know obviously these are fabric seats I've got a few cars with leather seats that could do with I don't know if it's reconnalizing or what the proper process is uh, it's all a bit of a mystery to me so I'd love to find somebody who knows what they're doing with fabrics and leathers um, that can teach me um, and take on some of my cars uh, it did have a few problems when I got the car so there was some damage to the center console and apparently the thing that tells me what gear I'm in is not glued in because that's just come off with my hand. So I might need to go and find that and probably get a new gear knob. Although you try finding a gear knob for an E30 that doesn't have the M colours or M logo on it. Oh, that isn't a modern kind of cobra head, chody looking horrible gear stick. Um, so I might maybe try and repair this one. Um, yeah, it was all damaged down here. All the centre console was broken. So we fitted a new centre console and you can probably see a whole lot of wiring here. So uh, JT, who is our audio and electronics guy on the channel, uh, ages and ages ago, he came and wired all of this in for me. So this connector here is actually for a vintage uh, tape player, which is currently not in the car because the lovely Chloe from VHS Chloe has taken the radio and is doing a full rework on it to make sure it's in tip top condition uh, and it all sounds as it should do when it was new rather than warbly as they tend to do as they get old. I can't profess to understand how that's done. It, it's all magic to me, um, but I'm looking forward to seeing that back and it's gonna really nicely finish this off with a period. It was a pioneer, if I remember correctly, tape unit, which will look 
Lovely. So thank you, Chloe, for taking that on. Very much appreciated. And you'll see one of the few modifications in the interior here. It has actually got an E28 spec uh, M wheel. Now, while I didn't want an M logo on here, I do like this steering wheel. So I, I will put up with the M logo for the wheel. Uh, otherwise, it's a fairly bog standard E30 interior. So this is security Volvo I talked about. Uh, it is a Volvo. It is security for the workshop. So I've got to unlock it, pump the tires up. You can see I've already done most of that and push it out of the way. So uh, let's, uh, let's get on it. So it's finally out in the fresh air after more years than I, I care to remember. So, next job. Now we've got to get it out that way somehow with no power. So this is going to be, going to be slow. gone as planned as you see we have the car on the jack and we have the disc off because something is let go inside the drum brake assembly in the rear disc we've got the car all the way out and then it locked solid so um that's that's helpful so chris is just busy disassembling it we're going to take the shoes out completely and let the garage figure out what's gone wrong when it's on the ramps this will at least hopefully let's get it on the trailer given it's you know slowly going dark Uh, right, so we're back on the ground as it goes dark. Uh, handbrake is completely off on this side. Something was fouling. Spring maybe not quite set right, but hopefully we can now actually get it on the trailer. some of the stuff on video but I didn't want to leave Neil hanging around waiting while I was faffing about with the cameras. Essentially we had two problems. On the rear axle the drums that sit inside the disc which are for the handbrake there appeared to be something incorrect with that. I maybe got a spring on the wrong side or got the shoes leading trailing rather than trailing leading or whichever way around they're supposed to be and what it meant is as you saw we were able to rock the car out get it out into there as soon as we backed it up it wouldn't then go forward. On the passenger side, we found that the studs or the nuts that hold the wheel on, uh, they were catching something inside that wouldn't allow the wheel to turn forward. So we fixed that by uh, angle grinding some studs short and putting those in, and that seemed to be okay. And then on the driver's side, that didn't work. It was just seized solid. Turned out whatever had touched the, uh, the handbrake assembly had knocked something out of line and it was jammed solid. 
So we had to take the wheel off, we had to take the disc off, um, free up the handbrake, and eventually we realised the easiest thing to do was just take all the shoes and springs and everything out, um, put it in a box in the uh, driver's seat, uh, and put it all back together. So it's gone on the trailer with no brakes whatsoever because there's no fluid in the braking system, and now no handbrake. So that's uh, that's good. That'll be fun for the folks at uh, Classic Barnstormers. Yet another problem for them to solve. So uh, thanks guys for fixing the mistakes I've made. So that's about it for Project E30 for now. You all know about my dirty secret. Hopefully next time you see it, it'll be a lot less of a dirty secret. It'll be nice and shiny and clean and hopefully running and purring like a kitten. Um, but yeah, that leaves me an empty workshop. So time to unbury another project car you've not seen that's been hiding away in the corner of the yard for far too many years. Uh, ooh, crikey. Uh, not as many as the E30, but probably five years it's been hiding away in the corner. So yeah, we've got a workshop. This is great. Anyway, that's all for now. Uh, don't forget to, you know, do the like, share, subscribe thing. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs because then I'll actually get paid a pittance for all the effort that goes into these videos. So that would be super handy. Uh, so yeah, until next time, go in, hit the subscribe button. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Little sneaky peek for you. Look what's arrived. Radio for the E30. Thank you, Chloe. Really looking forward to getting this fitted when the car is back. Amazing.